All right, time for another scrolling Photoshop lesson, this time on championships. Um, these are something that I don't pay attention to, and I'll explain why at the end. Every series has a championship, and we're going to talk about the regular season races, uh, the 12-week championships. So out of the 12 weeks, your best eight weeks count. Each week counts your around best 25% of your results. So to better show this, uh, I've got the amount of races you do. And one through four, it counts your best race. If you do five through eight, it, count, it averages your best two races. And further on, three races and every four races, it adds another race to average in. So let's just take it a regular four races you do in a week. And you get 103 points, 45, 63, and 90. So the 103 points is going to count. And the 45, 63, and 90 do not count at this point. Now, you'll see those show up in red. That doesn't mean that they're gone forever. Because if you do another race, then get less then that 90 is going to come back into play and 103 and 90 are going to be averaged and that will give you 96 and a half points for the week and yes there are decimal places once they start averaging i don't know how or when they round the stuff up uh that is all back in the background and not really worth you know wondering about so, let's say that instead of doing a 34-point race for your fifth race, you do an 120. So then your 103 and 120 count, and you'll get 111 and a half points. So, if you are okay with 111 or 96 and a half, you can go ahead and race three more times without worrying about changing your points. So, the point system for people who are worried about it is kind of counterintuitive to getting people to race a bunch. Now, let's talk about divisions. These are split based on I rating. This is done at some point near the end of the previous season. Now, if you didn't race a series, it's splitting based on everyone that ran the series and where they finished. Well, not where they finish, but everyone that ran the season, splitting it into 10 equal groups. If you remember the I rating video, you know that there's a ton of people between the 1,000, 1,999. So, you're going to get really tight, mixed up divisions in the middle. Pretty much divisions are just random. And you can focus on them if you want, but it's never something that I enjoy looking at because it's it's pointless. It just depends on where you got split and who's who you're racing against. So let's talk about if you want to focus on points, maximizing your points during a season. First off, know when high strength the field races are. So you can find this out by looking at results. There's a lot of tools in the forums that show kind of heat maps on when the regular strength of field races are. If there's not a lot of people signed up, there's a lower chance of a strength of field being high. And points are based on strength of field. So, uh, know when your points will split. And by that I mean the one, two, three, four, racing a fifth time could hurt you or not. If you get like two really good finishes in your four, then you can race more than you want. It's just, if you're focused on points, know that a fifth race could hurt you if you do not do good. Uh, next thing, run all 12 weeks. You have drop weeks. It's going to take your best eight, but if you're not dropping weeks, then it's hard to get rid of a bad week or a Daytona week or something that you had no control over. So run as many weeks as you can and it will help. Do not run single split races. 
if you're focused on points, single split races have the ability to end up being a really low strength of field race. It just depends on the series and what time of day it is. You could get a really high strength of field race, but it is more often or not a low strength of field. So, in reality, points are pointless. We're not all racing the same people each week. It's not like leagues. It's not even like IMCA where you're racing at the same track against the same people, but competing against other people at different tracks. We get such a random mix of races and who's racing who and strength of field that it's not something that you need to get focused on. Just race, enjoy the racing, and set goals, but don't don't adjust the way you race to, uh, you know, try to meet those goals. Like, if I finish on the first page of the overall, then I'm extremely happy. That's like a win to me. But it doesn't matter if I don't, because... I could have got a low strength of field race because I could only race at a certain time. So don't get focused on points too much. They're there to have fun. But if you are going to be racing in a championship series that qualifies you for a pro series, then that's where you need to maximize your points during those seasons. Um, Top splits get more points because their strength of field is higher, but sometimes a second split can get a decent amount of points for winning uh, rather than finishing last in the top split. So that's a whole nother discussion for why uh, championships for qualifying to a pro series should be run differently. But hopefully this helps people understand how points are done, but just go race and have fun. Like I say on all three of these videos, go race, don't worry about the numbers. Thanks for watching.